Hi everyone, my name is Johnny, and in this tutorial we'll learn how to stabilize our videos. We'll learn how video stabilization works and how to apply it and adjust it. Usually when we record handheld videos, the results will have some jittering or shaking, as it's happened to Elliot and JJ in this example. This kind of movement can be unpleasant to watch, so we can apply video stabilization to this clip. It will smooth down the camera movement, and it will make the video look a little bit neater. This is how we can use this feature. After putting the clip that we want to stabilize onto the timeline, we should first trim out the sections of the clip that we're not using. This will save us some processing time. Then we can apply the auto stabilizer effect, which can be found in the effects panel, inside the video cleanup folder. As soon as the effect is applied, it will start to analyze the section of the clip. This can take some time. We can see the process data at the bottom of the viewer and also in the Effect Controls panel. We can continue editing while the process takes place. Once the process is over, this image will be auto-stabilized and cropped. Here we can compare the before and after. Video stabilization works by finding high contrast points and then tracking them along the clip. Each point will be automatically classified if these points are out of focus or don't have enough contrast, they can't be tracked. The points which more accurately represent the movement of the camera will be colored green, and the stabilization will mainly be based on these points. You'll also see these red points on areas that less accurately represent the movement of the camera. These will still factor into the stabilization, but to a lesser degree. When most of the points move to one side, this means the camera originally moved or rotated in the opposite direction. If these points spread out from the center, it means the camera moved forward or zoomed in. With this information, Filmora Pro can smooth the movement by moving, scaling, rotating, and warping the frame to counteract the unwanted movement. But if we transform around the clip, its edges and the background behind it might become visible so this image needs to be cropped and scaled up afterwards. That's why a video will always lose some quality or resolution after being stabilized. Usually the effect applied by default will be good enough, but in some cases we might want to tweak it a little bit to get the results we're looking for. If we select the effect on the controls panel, we can adjust the stabilizing options. The crop window slider will let us select the percentage of the frame that will remain uncropped so a lower percentage will crop the image more, to allow for stronger stabilization. The smoothness slider lets us blend between the original camera movement and the stabilized shot, where 0% is basically the original shot, and 100% is with the stabilization fully applied. If we reduce the smoothness, the image won't need to be as cropped. If we uncheck the stabilize box, the video will not be stabilized or cropped but in the viewer we can see how much the effect will crop the image. This can help us decide how much to adjust the smoothness and the crop window sliders, but we need to remember to check it back on after the adjustments. In the viewer, when the stabilizing effect is selected, we can see all the tracking points. The green ones are the good tracking points and the red ones are the not so good tracking points. The grey ones are the inactive points, which do not affect the stabilization at all. In this window, we can activate or deactivate the points. If the Remove option is selected, we can draw a lasso around the points we don't want to affect the stabilization. This will deactivate the points and turn them grey. If we click on Add, we can select grey points and make them active. And if we select Replace, Filmora Pro will deactivate all of the points except for the ones we select with the lasso. In this example, this video looks pretty good with the default stabilization. But if I want the horizon to be as steady as possible, I can select only the points on the horizon to stabilize the footage. To do that, I'll select the Replace option in the viewer and then select the points in the background. Then I'll move the playhead to check if I want to add or remove other points along the clip. Finally, I'll re-enable the Stabilize checkbox to get the new stabilized result. And now we can see that the background is much steadier, especially if we compare it with the previous stabilization. If I'm looking for a different kind of result, I can choose to stabilize a video according to the points on Elliot's face instead. 
We can see that the result is clearly different. The movement looks more like an action cam attached to his head. If we want to apply additional effects to the clip, we should place them below the auto stabilizer in the controls panel. So the stabilization only affects the video clip and not the effects being applied. So that's how you stabilize your clips in Filmora Pro. To learn more about editing in Filmora Pro, make sure to check out our other tutorials in the series. And remember, there's no limit to what you can make.